Hi everyone, welcome to Pemidaka, a platform to learn everything about piping design. Visit pemidaka.com to see my regular posts. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to prepare for a piping design interview. And the steps, procedures and the points that we are going to discuss applies to all the candidates irrespective of how much experience you have. I am saying this from my own experience. Being a candidate and I have given up nearly hundreds of interviews in last 10 years and my success rate was 90%. Not only as a candidate and I have also been as an interviewer and I have conducted nearly around hundreds of interviews and I know what and where the candidates are lacking. Let's get into the video. An interview is a gateway for a new life. No matter what, all the interviews are important for our life. We should understand this in this way. Every industry is unique from another industry and the expectations are also so unique. So every position and every job has its own responsibilities which are so unique in nature and the qualities required for each and every role and every job is also so unique. So I am going to take you through how to prepare for a piping design interview. Before getting into an interview, we should have a general understanding about the expectation of the interviewer. An interviewer generally expect a candidate should know everything he has written in the CV. If you do not know what you have written in the CV which will not give a confidence for an interviewer on the candidates. So it's really important whatever you have written in the CV you should be aware about it and you should possess a deep knowledge about it. And the point number two is an interviewer generally expect a candidate to be a loyal and to come forward and say if you do not know you should say no instead of getting into an argument and convincing and pouring lot of wrong informations it's wise enough to say that you have not experienced and you have not been to that particular information or never heard of it. So you should be as loyal as much as possible. And the third point is that do not deviate from the subject of the question. We should be able to listen to the question properly and stick to the answers which are relevant to the questions instead of wasting the time of an interviewer deviating from one subject to another subject. So now we will see how exactly you should prepare for an interview. There are three stages for uh, the preparation of an interview. The first stage is know your CV. You should know about your CV and the second stage is you should be familiar about the projects that you have worked in your past. And the third stage is revise all piping basics. Let us see each of the stages in details. The first one is know your CV. So it's very important to know each and everything that you have mentioned in the CV. So you should make sure that you have clearly aware of the terms that you have mentioned in your CV. So you should go with word by word and understand whether you know or you do not know. If you do not know, you should remove that particular term from the CV. And you should be able to memorize uh, about everything what you have written in the CV because most of the times what happens when an interviewer asks the candidates starts fumbling uh, during the interview that uh, since they have they might have copied this information from someone else's uh, CV so you should not be a candidate who is fumbling uh, for something that you have already mentioned in the CV and the third point is that read and revise everything written in your CV if you have mentioned a 10 different technical subjects about in your CV you should know you and you should also have the deep knowledge about all the 10 subject if you are weak in any subject of 10 I would advise better remove it because nobody knows that uh, when is your bad time if uh, when a wonderful opportunity comes and if that turns to be your bad time and the interviewer picks a wrong topic then you will be get caught. So better to be 
as loyal as possible you will have your own day and the second stage is familiar with the projects that you have worked this is what most of the candidates won't give a focus on so you should know what you have worked so go through all the current and the previous projects that you have worked so that you know at least the basis of the project and you aware about what the project is all about and how much involvement you had and how much drawings you have prepared and what are the um uh, process cycles and what is the process design what is the flow cycle how much uh, uh, drawings you have prepared how much uh, man hours you have prepared just try to understand about the entire um uh, the, the knowledge about the project you don't need to possess the deep knowledge about the process but at least you should have the minimum knowledge about the projects that you have worked like the materials used and most of the interviews when interviews are uh interviewers ask a candidate about the materials that are used in a particular project and then candidate starts to um fumble about because since they uh, have not um remembered or memorized or not they might have worked but they have not actually uh, uh, revised right before the interview that is where the candidates were lacking so you should be aware of uh, all this informations uh, you should uh, take as much time as possible because interview is an opportunity uh, we should not miss an opportunity for um, not have just for uh, giving an excuse by saying not having a time and also try to understand what are the critical services and sizes used in your projects so memorize these uh, informations before the interview will really help you to boost the interviewer that you know the basis of the inter- projects that you have worked so th- he will have a confidence that you are a candidate who uh, t- uh, understand the project before getting into your uh, job or before getting to start preparing your work so this is very important stage and the third stage is revise the piping basics so you should be revising all the piping basics right before an interview because since you are working uh in a day in and day out uh, regular uh, job you may not get time to uh, revise the basics you are very very much familiar about the daily work but you may not be familiar about uh, something which are uh, too basic in nature like uh, pipes and pipe fittings and uh, piping codes and standards and piping uh, standard engineering practices that are commonly fall in uh most of the piping engineering uh, companies and uh, as a design philosophies and the principles and uh, the engineering workflow process uh, you should know uh, what is the workflow process of a particular uh, design um, uh, project let's say you start from the plot plan you, then you prepare a uh, piping layout then your isometric and from isometric what do you do then you when you do a stress analysis and when you design a pipe support design and uh, when are you going to develop the material um, uh, take off list so you should be aware about this actually and very importantly you should know about the inputs required for the drawing preparations when an interviewer ask about uh, the inputs that are required for a plot plan i have seen lot of uh, uh, candidates starts fumbling about uh, the um, the basic things because having mentioned this in your resume and you do not know the inputs required for preparation of the plot plan it's really uh, annoying for an interviewer uh, he feel that that he has wasted uh, his time wa- while interviewing you so it's very much important to understand the basics and to revise the basic right before the interview and familiar with the design areas such as pipe rack pump piping drum piping column piping compressor piping and heat exchanger piping these are all the important areas in the piping design there are several other areas in piping design uh, like reactor piping and um, the tank form piping there are several other many other areas but at least as a candidate when you are uh, going for an interview you should know the basic uh, design areas uh, that's what most uh, cases the interviewers expectation about the candidate is and the next point is uh, you should be familiar about the uh, flexibility analysis uh, analysis basics and the support design basics 
so even if you are not into analysis at least you should be able to understand you should be uh, in a position to say conceptually what is stress analysis about and what is pipe design is about how pipe support designs are framed and from uh, from uh, stress analysis and what is flexibility analysis so these are the basics uh, an interviewer expect uh, from a candidate to know about it and you should be familiar with the piping materials used in your um, experience and in your projects uh, because um, in an interview you will be asked about the common inter uh, materials that you have worked uh, there are um, uh, the the most common materials are uh, carbon steel and stainless steel and alloy steel so you should be able to uh, explain and tell and share your experience about the materials that you have worked and the next important thing is how to present yourself in the interview it's really important to understand how to present yourself in the interview because the way that you are going to present yourself can entirely change the mindset of an interviewer. So it's really important to be a good presenter. It has got some structures and the structure starts with saying thanks. The first word that you are going to speak in an interview should be the word thanks. You should start by saying Thanks for giving me an opportunity to present myself over here. So this gives a positive energy and a positive signal to an interviewer on you. And without wasting much time, you should start saying about yourself. We are going to see the what you are going to speak in tell about yourself in the next slide. But for now, we will just stick with the structure. And the second is tell about yourself. And the moment you finish the tell about yourself, then you should allow the interviewer to ask question and you should be in a position to answer. And the fourth stage is again say thanks while finishing the interview. So this four steps, if you are able to follow, you will be able to give a clean and a very perfect interview. Now I'll tell you what you have to say when you are asked to speak about yourself. Because from my experience that what I have seen is most of the time the candidates are not prepared enough to speak about themselves. So this is what you have to do. Start with your name. Then speak about your education. Then say something about your experience. Don't be too much elaborate. Just give a short brief about your experience from the first experience to the recent experience. And then give more details about your current and the recent job roles and responsibilities because this is where the interviewers are mostly interested to know about and then you can say about the recent assignments like any field assignments to on-site or any local states and then you should say what are the codes and standards that you are familiar with so these are the basic informations that you have to say when you talk about when you are asked to say about yourself and do not say anything more than this because which is not relevant for the interviews and now we will see what not to say during tell about yourself because this is very much important to know because if you uh, say any of this informations and probably interviewers may not like it so it starts with don't speak about your personal life it's not relevant for your job or it's not relevant for an interviewer to know about it and then don't talk about your family background you may be from a rich family it's not important for an interview don't speak about your family background and don't talk about your birthplace or your resident identity and don't talk about your language on the place on the family identity and i could see that most of the in many of the cases and the candidates uh, uh, tell their language identity and the place identity which is not relevant for the interview please note that anything which is not relevant for the interview do not speak about it because and sometimes and some interviewers may not like it so it's very important to avoid what you should not speak during the interview and don't talk about your life struggle or achievements because some if you talk about your achievements and in most of the times an interviewer gets annoyed and he may ask more about it so which you, you may not be able to speak so it's better not to share about your struggle or your achievements during the interview and then don't ask about an on-site assignment before uh, clearing the interview because 
you have not cleared the interview you are still going through the interview so uh, as long as that you are into the interview um, without clearing the interview don't uh, talk about this topic because this will give an image uh, about you that you are looking for an on site assignment and you are not ready to work in local office so please don't ask about any on site assignment during the interview and don't ask about your salary and your future in the company uh, because this is not the right stage once you are cleared then you can go for an other round you probably you will meet an hr you can talk much more about it so that that, that is the actual right stage to speak about it and during the technical interview don't speak anything about your future or your salaries uh, which is uh, absolutely not relevant for the interview and please be remember that don't talk about your strength or weakness because when you say about your strength and uh, um, it gives a curiosity for an interviewer to know more about it so they may start digging out more and more so it's better not to say anything about your strength or weakness nobody wants a candidate with certain weakness so uh, if you are going to say about your strength and uh, weakness it may set the mindset of the interviewer so better uh, let the interviewer stay in a neutral mindset so that you'll be able to um, uh, peacefully um, uh, uh, give your interviews that's what important instead of saying i am i have a, a more knowledge on this area i do not i don't have a knowledge on this particular area this will uh, set the mindset of an interviewer so better don't speak about your strength or your weakness let's look into the important and unimportant qualities that are helpful to increase the chances of clearing the interview because if you possess these qualities and probably you will have higher chances of clearing the interview the important qualities are you should be a patient listener because all the interviewers expect a candidate to be patient enough to listen to them so this is one of the important qualities one should possess then you should be a loyal candidate so you should be able to say no when you have uh, do not experience certain things that i have asked in the interviews uh, instead of uh, giving all the wrong informations that can seriously damage your uh, image and your uh, candidate your selection so it's very important to be loyal in the interviews and do not argue much in the interview so you know that what you have said is wrong so there is no point in arguing so interviewers generally avoid don't select the candidates who are much into unnecessary discussions so you should be a technically sound even if your uh, communication is weak and uh, your appearance is not good that's not really important for an interview uh, for because piping engineering is a technical interview so here what interviewer generally expect is to have a strong technical knowledge then the next point is you should be able to accept your mistakes immediately if you are aware consciously that what you have said is wrong you should be immediately able to accept your mistakes so this is one of the kind um, uh, feature the kind um, uh, the quality that one should have and the final point is you should be able to explain things clearly so this is one of the quality a candidate should develop themselves if you are not able to explain yourself and not able to explain uh, the answers that what uh, the questions that are asked so it's really uh, going to Uh, take the opportunity from you so be a candidate who can explain things clearly the excellent english fluency is not expected for this position as this is a technical engineering division what is expected is your technical knowledge and your appearance is not given much importance because as i said since this is a technical engineering division your technical knowledge and your subject knowledge is given much more importance than your appearance and your academic score is not given an importance because even if your academic score is low and your technical knowledge about the subject is really strong then you will be given an importance and the fourth one is certification doesn't matter for this position because no certification can teach the piping design requirements let's see the mistakes to be avoided in an interview speaking something not experienced in an interview is really going to cost your opportunity so don't speak about something that you have not experienced then stop speaking continuously if you are a non stop speaker then it is really going to annoy the interviewer so better to be a person who speak with some consciousness and with some sense then don't lose your 
temper and don't start arguing if you are a person who often lose your temper and uh, arguing during the interview then it is really going to cost your opportunity once again and don't provide an irrelevant answer listen to the interviewer properly and what they have asked and listen to the questions properly and give and try to give an relevant answer to the question and the last point is not listening to the questions properly listen to the questions properly if you have not heard properly ask them to repeat the question and try to understand the question before answering the question because this is the quality determines how good you are in understanding things if you are not able to understand certain things it's your responsibility to understand ensure that you have understood before even proceeding finally i have a message for you for those who are preparing for an interview not only for piping design interview and for any interview if you are preparing keep this information in mind clearing an interview is not about how much answers you made right during the interview it is about what kind of perception the interviewer perceived about you after the interview so this is what decides your selection so always be humble and be polite irrespective of who you are and where you are from thank you so much thanks for listening to me you're listening to subhash chandan hope this video helps you to understand how to prepare for a piping design interview if you have any questions or comments you can put that in the comment column i will try to reply as early as possible also visit pemidaco.com to see my recent post about piping design i'll meet you with another video until then thank you so much